Howdy, this is Lemmy with RevZilla TV, here to talk to you today about the Biltwell Challenger Solo Seat for Dyna. The Challenger seat, as you can see, is a seat that is going to look great on your motorcycle. This is an upgrade to your stock saddle. These things are made exclusively for Dynas. Late model guys, you're going to be the fellas that Biltwell is making this seat for. Installation on these, like so many of the other seats we cover, really one out of three beers. Pretty simple job. Anybody should be able to hammer one out in the garage in just a very short time. So you can see here, this is a really cool saddle um, that Biltwell has cranked out for the Dynas here. These things are real kind of boxy looking. They don't, just, they don't just melt into your bike like so many of the other saddles you're going to see. This thing actually has a shape and a definition, and it really is going to augment the lines of your motorcycle. Now, Biltwell has made this thing with a real nice marine grade uh, vinyl cover. You can see on here, this is the smooth one we have. It comes in a couple styles. There's a real nifty tuck and roll job. Um, this also comes unupholstered. If you're trying to save a couple bucks, maybe you're handy with upholstery. Um, you can definitely get, get one of those and uh, either upholster it yourself or have a local shop do it if you're looking for something a little bit different, a little bit funky or offbeat. Looking at this thing, construction-wise, it's a pretty basic saddle. As we said, it is that marine-grade vinyl. It's got some pretty decent stitching on here. We flip over, and one of the ways they keep the price point down on this thing is with this pan. This is a plastic pan, but it is a real upgrade over your factory one. It's made of a thicker, heavier plastic. And then because it's a solo seat, it's a much shorter seat, so it's not going to flex nearly as much as your stock piece would. So they managed to get a pretty firm base plate out of this saddle um, without breaking the bank on it. It's a very firm foam in here, and as you can tell from the shape of this seat and the profile of it, it's pretty low. This is definitely going to be one of those saddles that's built for looks instead of comfort. Um, I think the big feature here is the low price point. If, you're, if you have kind of short coin and you're looking to get into a, uh, a sharp looking saddle, um, Biltwell definitely allows you to do it here with the Challenger. Now installing this seat is not going to be difficult at all. You've got the one bolt attachment at the rear. Shouldn't be uh, too difficult for anybody with basic hand tools and a modicum of common sense. You should be in and out of the garage in 10 minutes on this puppy riding down to the local watering hole having all your buddies check out how sweet your seat looks. I think Biltwell really hit it out of the park with this one. This is just a great value. Again, it's a low buck seat with high buck seat uh, value kind of built into it. It's just really nicely constructed. My opinion is not the only one that matters though. Yours is. Click below, see what some other riders have said about this who already have them, or if you've got one of these, leave a review for another rider to check out and see if this saddle might work for them. If you've got questions I haven't covered, give us a holler. 877-792-9455 will get you a Gear Geek Live on the phone. You can always drop us an email, cs at revzilla.com. I'm Lemmy, I'm out of here.